Hey, hey, welcome back to Simply Blessed Crafts. I'm Tiffany, and I hope you are ready for some more farmhouse DIYs. I do want to do some um, patriotic ones coming up here soon. I just got to get myself set up for it. But I'm not going to waste any time. Let's get into those DIYs. DIY number one. So this one here, guys, I got this tray from a uh, for a dollar at a garage sale um, just recently. Um, I decided I was going to use my uh, old school, no, not old school, sorry, uh, skeleton key color. Um, I had big problems with this tray, you guys. So I'm not exactly sure what they did to this tray. If they put some kind of um, something on it or if it's just from the paint that they used on it or something but I have never had any problems with metal trays or tin trays or whatever and this is that's what it this is it's it's like a it's like a tin um, <clears throat> but I put two coats on this at first because I thought maybe it was just because it was kind of a a slick surface that maybe it was the paint just wasn't sticking to it <clears throat> excuse me um, but after my two coats I had the worst bleed through ever and I could not figure out why but anyway um, after those two coats I ended up going over it twice with Big Top because that is a sealer um, it's not the best choice rather but look at look at this that's coming from the tray it's like a yellowish gross it was just nasty looking um, but this is after the two coats of paint and the two coats of um, the top coat um, if you have problems with this you guys I don't have any like lacquer or anything like that on hand right now but the big top did work um, Mod Podge probably would have worked as well, but it went on so much better after that was on there and it all dried and everything, so just an FYI, but yeah, it took me a little while on this tray to get done, um, but I love the outcome, uh, what it looks like after it's all done, so. So after it's dry, um, I decided I was going to go in with a transfer. I actually had one in mind and I ended up changing it after I saw it. So um, just another FYI, I don't know if it's because of all the paint that I had to put on this and everything, but um, I screwed up and I should have put a, another coat of some kind of sealer on it before I went in with my transfer. I was thinking about doing the birds, but I decided to do the chickens instead. But I had the hardest time, you guys, to keep rubbing this transfer down. And usually I don't you don't have that many issues. They go on pretty slick. But because of I don't I don't I'm not sure if I don't know if it's because of the so much paint or whatever that was on this. But again, I was having some issues, so I should have went over it with Big Top again before I put this down, and I didn't. Um, I did cut out some of this, but you will see me struggle a little bit with different pieces of it. Um, I didn't want to, I didn't want to keep it streaming long because I didn't want to bore you guys to death. But I was mainly having problems with like the roosters. Uh, cone on top of his head and the feet and then the hen I was having problems a lot of problems with the feet on her as well and on the tip of the tail um, some of this um, seemed to come off pretty good like the body and stuff it didn't have any problems but here I was struggling so much I could not get it to lay down
there is where I cut out a bunch of stuff. Um, I did get the rooster done off camera, but I guess I didn't even do it off camera. I just cut it out for you guys. But here now I'm struggling with the hen again. Yeah, I don't know. Like, See, here I'm actually even um, peeling up the transfer a little bit so you see some of it stuck down. But I actually just um, put a little bit of the top coat that was left on my brush and just put that underneath it and then dried it. Make sure it's dry really well before you put your transfer back down. Otherwise, it you'll uh, peel up the paint and then it won't be usable. I know that the hard way. And then you can't use it on any project. If you're not familiar with my channel, um, I do do these a lot. Um, you can get these. These are IOD transfers. This is from the Brocant package. And you just basically lay them down and rub like I have been showing you here, guys. Um, like I said, I, this is kind of a struggle because they don't they're not this hard to rub on. They're really not. I mean, my arm was getting really sore after this. Like I said, I don't know what was causing that. But anyway, um, I eventually just peeled it up and I went over it with some more Big Top. The feet, I had problems with the feet and the tail, like I said, on the hen. It just wasn't cooperating. So I went in with Big Top and then I... After it dried, I went back in with the rub on and I just lined it up and I just rubbed it down and it comes up so much easier. Um, but anyway, uh, I'm also using DIY paint so I would need to seal it anyway. Just so you guys are aware, um, DIY paint is a clay based paint and it, it can be reactivated by water. so being this a tray, you definitely want to seal it um, depending on what you're going to use it for. Let's see, so much better, guys. Oh, it's like game changer. Should have just done that in the first place. So here now I'm going back over it with Big Top. Big Top is just a top coat uh, for your DIY paint. Um, I'm actually just using um, the top coat, uh, big top, just on the transfer there to make sure it sticks down all good. Um, I'm actually going in with white, or not uh, white wax, clear wax on the rest of the tray. Which is what I'm doing right now. After that's all done, I go in with some white wax. You don't have to do this um, to seal it. Your clear wax will do that just fine. Your white wax will do that just fine. Um, I wanted to get down in some of the nooks and crannies of the side of the trays just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, and the white wax or the clear wax helps you to do that better. Because it doesn't, uh, you, you it'll be able to you be able to move the wax around a lot, a lot easier if you clear wax it first. If you guys are new here, I appreciate you guys stopping by, and if you are enjoying what you see, please give me a like down there below. Um, and subscribe if you haven't already, you guys. I would really appreciate it. Lately, it's been amazing. I appreciate every single one of you guys. This is what it looks like, you guys, by the way. DIY number two. But I greatly appreciate every single one of you that have subscribed, my new subscribers. And I hope you guys stick around. Um, 
it's been it's been really hard. I've been trying my darndest to get subs uh, um, sanit uh, monetized, if I can talk. And I've been struggling a lot by losing subscribers and everything, but I actually got a bunch of new people, so I am very happy with that, and I hope you guys stick around. Um, anyway, I got this wall pocket from a garage sale for a buck fifty. It has little dragonflies on it. Um, I decided I was going to go over it with mint chip. So that's what I'm doing right now. I do do two coats on this as well. Sorry for the light, you two guys. You can't really see it, but here I'm going over with some more clear wax. Probably could have cut more of this out, you guys. After you see me do the one side, you didn't need me to see the other one, but. After I did that, I go back in with some white, uh, white wax. I wanted to light, lighten up those, um, dragonflies a little bit so you guys could see So they can be seen a little bit easier. So this is kind of what I'm doing right now. It's just kind of going over the dragonflies to make them pop a little bit. Off camera I do paint the rest of that. And then I put some pretty little flower or uh, greenery inside of it and there you go. DIY number three. So this one, I realized, guys, that this is probably the only technically thrift flip that I didn't, that is not a thrift flip. I'm not sure where I remember getting those cutting boards, you guys. Um, my Dollar Tree, and I don't usually go to Dollar Tree anymore, but my Dollar Tree don't never sold the, um, the bamboo cutting boards at my Dollar Tree. Um... So that's kind of probably where I've gotten these. I probably picked them up at like five below or something like that or I don't even know. I don't even know. I know that I have seen stuff in other stores and that's probably where I ended up picking these up. But I wanted just a little sign so that's why I picked this. So these napkins I got off of Amazon. I've had these in my stash for a little while now. Um, I know Highland cows are so in right now. And I thought these would be absolutely cute to set on like a little shelf or something. So um, I'm going in with White Swan to paint this board. Um, I'm not going for a complete coat. Um, I do end up going back over it with a different color after I get this um, stuck down. But after I paint my board and get it all dry, I um, go in with my napkin and I'm just ripping the sides just to kind of give it a little bit more of a aged look and it kind of brings out a little bit more detail I think makes it look a little more natural and then I go in with some Mod Podge and I'm just Mod Podging this down um, I am actually going over this with a very and I mean very light coat of Mod Podge you do not need much um, and if you are doing this with the napkins, you have to peel off all the other layers. So this is, uh, it was a three-ply napkin, and I peeled off to the first layer. 
be careful doing that because you can rip it very easily. And then when I'm going over the board with the Mod Podge, I'm telling you to do it very lightly because it doesn't need much. And with me rubbing my fingers across it, I am pushing down the wrinkles and stuff. If you have too much Mod Podge on the back of it, you will rip your napkin. So keep that in mind. Um, I am drying it right now. And then I go in with another um, layer of Mod Podge. And then after I do that, and this is goes for any other creator that you've seen out there, a lot of them will grab Saran Wrap and rub um, rub the wrinkles and stuff out. It kind of helps um, the wrinkles smooth out and stuff. I do not have any saran wrap in my storage or my uh, stash, surprisingly. Um, so I actually just grabbed the backing of one of the transfers that I was using and that worked absolutely wonderful. It worked just like you would think the saran wrap would work. I've never actually used that method before, but I'm telling you right now, I'm gonna continue using it because it turned out amazing. Now, I do not show what I do with this on camera. I must have forgot to push record or something, but I ended up going in with gypsy green and going around that picture and just kind of stippling on there. You can kind of see it right there. For some run reason, I do not have that recorded. DIY number four. So I was having so much fun with that one. I picked up this sign a long time ago at the thrift store for $1.49. Um, I was having so much fun with that last DIY that I decided I was going to do one more. So here I'm going back in with my swan, uh, white swan paint, DIY paint. And I'm just giving it a good coat and then again going around and peeling off the um, edges on this napkin after I've already peeled off the three ply again I think I forgot to push record but you saw me do it on the last video you don't really need me to see it on this one anyway so I just lined it up decided where I was going to put it and I grab my Mod Podge out and I do the exact same thing that you saw me do on the last one. Again, very, very light coat. Is he rubbing like that? We'll rip it if it's really saturated with Mod Podge. And then I'm just working my way down just kind of pushing down on the napkin. It helps to get the wrinkles out and to smooth it. We fix, the re fix that though at the end with um, the backing of one of those transfers again like I did the last one as well. Again look guys if you're enjoying what you see Please give me um, a comment down below and tell me which one you guys really like to see, which one you enjoyed. Um, smash that like button for me, guys. It really helps my channel grow. Share this video out if you can. Um, share it with your friends and family, anybody that you think would enjoy watching it. All that really helps, guys. Um, As soon as I can get another video out on Tuesday, I will do that. I'm going to try my darndest this next Tuesday to have a video out for you. Um, I'm going to push myself to get some stuff done this weekend. So I'm going to try my darndest to get back up in two videos a week. I miss doing it. so. Um, and then here I got a little more paint on my brush that I painted before. And I'm just basically light brushing dry brushing it on the the sides of it. But that is it, guys. 
so cute. And the final reveal. Again, guys, let me know down below which ones you enjoyed, which one you would rather create. Alright guys, see you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed all of these. I hope you guys have a great weekend and enjoy that hot summer weather. And I will see you in the next one. Hopefully it's Tuesday. Bye!